Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Cancer for the month of February or from the time that you uh, view this video. Um, it is a general reading and so that means that it may or may not resonate with you. If this doesn't sound like your situation, like your story, uh, then check your, uh, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. So let's begin with our first card. We have the scribe. <clears throat> okay, so um, the scribe, he questions everything, you know, records everything so he can easily go back and look at it if he needs to, you know. Um, it could be that um, he he may have trust issues because we are talking about blockages um holding on to information maybe um maybe he doesn't want to place himself in a position of getting hurt possibly or taken advantage of um and so he's relying on this information that he's got recorded. I mean, you know, this could even be information that is recorded uh, at a subconscious level that makes him uh, perhaps be suspicious of other people, suspects deception. Mm-hmm. Um, Playing his cards close to his chest, yeah. So, protecting himself or feeling he needs to. Let's go have a look at this other card to see why he's there. Yep, okay, so this is another air card, and it is the, I'll just show it to you, the Eight of, um, the eight of Swords, or Eight of Air. Um, <clears throat> Okay, so we are creatures driven by our egos. Our ego is in part our identity, the center of our consciousness. It is driven by our instincts and base desires and constrained by culture and society. It can have us feeling confident and certain or it could have us feeling uncertain and afraid, which is what is happening with the scribe, okay? Um, hmm. It can also uh, employ one of the several defense mechanisms to shield us from uncomfortable truths or a reality that we are not willing or ready to accept. So many of us are afraid of the truth. We can be so afraid of the truth that our ego will work hand in hand with our primal instincts and do what it can to protect us. If our ego is wounded or we've been uh, taught to fear, the defense mechanisms employed may also be detrimental okay, to good health, well-being, and to our relationships with others. Our need to feel safe, uh, to feel good, to be right, to be better, to be needed, and to be loved can result in the evidence at hand, and that, that is the reality, being distorted and shaped to fit our percep perception of events so that uh, what we want to believe is in conflict, actually, with fact. Okay, so... Um, <clears throat> excuse me, this card signifies the need to question your memory of past conversations or situations. Why? Because our memories are not always accurate. In fact, <clears throat> In fact, unless we are blessed with perfect recall, our memories can be distorted. The facts that 
you recorded can be distorted, our recollection flawed. Memories, you see, they fade, and sometimes important details get forgotten. Sometimes our memories can become conflicted as one experience becomes confused uh, with another. They can merge and mingle so that context and content uh, are dramatically changed. There's also times when we become so focused on a, a particular detail that we no longer have any recollection of the true nature of the entire experience. We see the detail instead of the bigger picture that we have blocked out. Memories can also be distorted by our ego, emotions, beliefs, perspective, understanding, perception, and our overall mental health and physical well-being. Simple changes in diet, a lack of sleep, and illness can hamper our ability to remember. And if our ability to remember is affected, then it follows that what we recall is only a partial memory, not necessarily a complete one. And this could be the blockage here. If you want an accurate log of your experiences, then you need to keep a journal, a written journal, not one in the mind. That way, when you look back at a moment in time, you have an actual written account of that moment while still being um, one that is only from your perspective, uh, it will still be more accurate than memory alone. So um, this card signifies the importance of not giving our memories too much power or influence over our present. Yes, there are times when we experience moments that change our lives so dramatically that we will never forget them. But there are also times when our egos, as magical and wonderful as they are, can uh, alter our memories in order to make them fit a reality of our making. Sometimes they can rewrite the entire script, change the dialogue, and create a moment that never actually happened. And believing that it did will not make it any more real. Be sure that what you believe you experienced is really what happened. Be sure that your recall is as accurate as possible especially if you are currently caught up in a he said, she said situation. Everything changes with the passage of time, including our memories. Sometimes it serves us better to remember that our memories can be altered and not allow them to confuse a situation in the present. When you are asked uh, to question everything, sometimes that means questioning yourself more than anyone. And the final message is the full moon in Sagittarius. <laughs> Look at the bigger picture. <laughs> How appropriate is that? And so... Um, so this card asks, are you thinking too much about the details of your dilemma, fretting over all the little things? This card is a reminder that while it's good to think things through, sometimes you need to step back and look at the bigger picture. What do you then see about your current situation? What is the most positive thought you can have about it? 
Now is the time to count your blessings, even if you don't yet have exactly what you want. This card is also a reminder that we often have to take a few risks and go with uncertainty on this journey called life. Try to keep an open mind about uh, what's for the best. Hmm, because the universe, you know, could just very well surprise you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.